Hey everyone and Gemini, welcome. This is going to be your reading. Let's find out and let's get these cards talking for you, Gemini. I'm using the Nomad Soul Wire Tarot deck. If you want to get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Or you can go to Etsy and search Nomad Soul Warrior. The listing for this card will come out. All right, Gemini. Can you imagine January is almost over? How are you all doing with your dry January? No drinks, detox and all. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'll do a new spread for February month. Let's see. Two of Wands, the World, Three of Swords, the Lovers, Queen of Swords. Oh, wow, the High Priestess. Let me get this one out. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Magician, the Sun. Wow, we have a few major arcanas here. Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So you've got one, two, three, major arcanas, four. Yeah. Hmm. Gemini, I'm getting that there is a new thing that is occupying your mind. This could be a new job, a new opportunity. Um opportunity about money business making strategy could also be a new opportunity of getting to know someone new yeah an opportunity of getting to know someone new this could be a new person that um you you recently met so i feel like this could either go two ways it's either a new person that you met a new person or someone that you already know yeah whereby you're thinking whether whatever you have right now can it go somewhere will it go somewhere or will it just remain as where it is right now so if you're just getting to know each other it could either just remain as friends or remain as acquaintance and then things will start to fade out or can you actually continue getting to know each other are you interested in getting to know each other. And I feel like on your end, you're still kind of thinking, am I really interested to get to know this person? Or am I interested in looking out for something else, for someone else, yeah, to get to know? So I feel like there is lack of um, full interest towards a certain person here. Now, the person that you are dealing with, I see that here there is someone who is also on the same sort of stage right that they may know your name your last name your birth date your astrological sign you may have met and dated a couple of times and then now it feels like for this person they already know what they want to know or needed to know about you are they willing to push this further are they willing to pursue this connection further or are they gonna find a new love or is there a chance to find a new loved once again? Yeah. Because for whatever reason, I am seeing that this person is feeling that there is a sense of neediness in the situation. It could be that they find you needy or that the connection you had has immediately escalated into more of a dramatic sense rather than you know enjoying the time getting to know each other the drama has become apparent in the situation i don't know who's bringing the drama it's either you brought the drama in the situation or they did yeah and it's very draining you know especially if you're just getting to know each other you want to be playful they want to be playful with you but if you include drama in the earlier stage that can be scary because that means that from then on, from here onwards, drama it will never be avoided. Yeah, It comes with a certain personality too. 
Um, I feel like this person is not ready to or is not open to entertain more drama because for them, everything that needs to be talked about or everything that is happening in this connection, there's always ways and means to resolve it. There's always a better way to approach things. Yeah. So if somebody is bringing drama into the situation and it feels like it's very draining, it seems like it's not suitable for this person. They know that they are not suited for that. They would rather look somewhere else than being bugged down with um, dramatic encounters. Yeah, Too much drama can be draining, you know. And somehow also can be a waste of time. Yeah, And that is not in your card. It's, it was just my additional thought. So now... Um, if there is a call, if there was a call made in between the two of you to just break things off, I feel like this person will be open for that. They would rather choose breaking off, um, putting an end to things, rather than being drained with drama. So them accepting the fact that things are done, it's also them accepting the fact that there is no longer drama in their life. Yeah. The one thing that you may want to know here is that when you were connected to each other, was there a real connection there? Yes. The answer is yes. We have the lovers. So um, you have someone who was really connected to you. They love you. They, they had this emotional connection with you. That's not a big question here. So that means, yeah, they were attracted. They had grown to love you you have grown in them but the thing is they know better nowadays yeah, this is someone who may have had a relationship in the past that they have completed it was really dramatic that it drained them and then this time they don't want to have that in their life a very um a person who has learned from their past yeah that drama arguments passive aggressiveness they're not really good in gearing towards a good type of relationship, they would rather leave that behind. They would rather look for something else, someone else, than being bogged down with uh, drama. Because I feel like this person may have already been burned in the past, you see? This type of energy, the Queen of Swords, been there, done that. And I don't want to be in that situation once again. This is what this person is saying. If you want me to love you, I will. But please don't include drama because now I know better. Yeah. It's kind of a very straightforward reading, isn't it? Yeah. If there was a breakup, definitely this person was hurt. Yeah, but they will try to find or to divert their attention into something else. Because like I said, they would prefer to have to restart with someone new, something else, something new, than being in a situation where they know it's just going to go downhill from here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands in the beginning, and that is very heavy to start with. Yeah, I feel like this person already healed from the past drama in their life, and they just don't want to do the same thing over again. Yeah. And on your end, you're kind of thinking, what is happening? Why is this person not pursuing isn't it that what we have is worth having? Yeah, That's your question. Can we work things out? If I put my effort into it, my focus into it, definitely you can still get together, of course. But the thing with the Three of Cups here is not just being together and have fun. It's more like being supportive of each other's energy. Yeah, Lifting each other up, not pulling each other down with all the dramatic endeavors. Yeah, so definitely, yes, if you're asking whether there is a chance for this to, to be fixed, yes, because this person truly loves you too. It's just that there is something about this connection that doesn't work for them. And if you can learn or you can discuss about each other, about that to each other, have that clarity and make sure that you will only focus on the good things, on the things that brings value into this connection, you can have more happy times together. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.